my gosh, everyone, I got lucky this week. I can't wait to show you everything. Hey everyone, I'm so excited to have you join me for another Thrift With Me adventure. This past week I ventured out twice, hitting up my grandparents' area where I got super lucky. And let me tell you just now that the haul I scored is absolutely fantastic. So make sure to tune into the end to check that out. I didn't even go out the rest of the week. I scored so many good finds. Like that's how good it is. <laughs> and I happened to be in the middle of decorating for my latest cottage core kitchen decorate with me video. So make sure to tune into that if you already haven't so you can see how I styled a lot of these beautiful finds in action. I also found a lot of fun pieces for my next room transformation, which will be my French cottage living room with Regency inspired elements sprinkled throughout. So with a mix of unique pieces, perfect for my cozy cottage kitchen, as well as some elegant finds, to elevate my French cottage living room, this trip was a treasure trove of goodies. So we're gonna be hitting up Goodwill, Savers, and the Salvation Army today. So get ready to dive into the thrift store excitement with me. From vintage gems to one-of-a-kind treasures, you never know what we might find. each and every one of you for your incredible support on our previous thrift with me videos your feedback means the world to me and I always take your suggestions to heart I love that everyone has loved my finds so much but I did see that a couple people commented that I'm moving the camera maybe a little bit too much in that last one so I did try to slow things down a bit in this one I've realized that I get really excited when I see some things and then I kind of tend to move my camera a little bit too much so I'm slowing things down a bit but I just love that everyone loves the hauls so much I'm all about really looking and searching and hunting for those unique vintage pieces that really have character and tell a story so I love putting those items in my home but I'm also curating all of these finds for the online store that I'm working on for Fab Little Dish. Make sure to go on fablittledish.com if you already haven't and make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a thing. There are just so many fun things in the works that I can't wait to share with you.
Hey everyone, it's Allie here and welcome back to Fab Little Dish. I hope you enjoyed that latest thrifting journey with me. It was a good one and I'm so excited about the things that I found this week. I'm thrilled. I only went thrift shopping twice. So this, I got really lucky at a Goodwill by where my grandparents live. It always depends. You have to be okay with going and being and leaving with nothing because that makes these hauls that much greater. So this was an, kind of an eclectic mix of different stuff that I found for all of the different themes within my country French cottage that I have been decorating that you've all been seeing me on that journey. It's been so fun. And so some of these pieces are adding to those themes that you've already seen because I am gonna be doing, if you're a true decorator, you're never done decorating. You're never done styling. There's always something else that you can do and switch up. So the, everything I show of my decorate with me's is probably gonna be just a, a, an initial show and then there's gonna be restyling and redoing of everything. So just get ready for that ride and make sure you subscribe if you already have it. There's so many fun things coming up. But speaking of which, let's start going through these items because I have a lot to go through. And I'm gonna start, I'm gonna try to do it by theme. And I really was searching for Victorian English country for the living room. So. I feel like I want to go a little bit fancier in the living room because in, you know, Bridgerton and Gilded Age, all of those shows, I feel like the, the gathering room is always a little just really fancy. But so are the bedrooms actually. Everything is fancy in those shows, but I want to kind of just level it up a little with what I'm looking for and the touches that I'm going to be doing in the living room. So I'm going to be doing more elegant. French country, English countryside, French cottage still on on point, on theme. So let's start going into those items first. Here's the first piece. This is kind of what I mean by leveling it up and making everything a little bit more elegant and formal. So that's what I mean, nothing too crazy. This was $4.79 at Goodwill. One of the ones that I stopped at on my way to my grandparents' house and Honestly, I can't even remember the town. It was just, look at it, and there's like the grapes. This was an interesting Goodwill because pretty much everything that was knick-knacky, this included, was $4.79. So the guy actually gave me a deal because I got this, and then I also found, what is it? There's like a little, oh, this. <laughs> Which is gonna go in my cottage core kitchen. But this was $4.79 also. So everything that was kind of knick-knacky was $4.79 and I like I was buying a good amount of things which you'll see. So he he didn't he didn't charge me for this one. <laughs> so um or he yeah, I don't think I saw it. I counted everything and there were definitely some things missing. So I got lucky. <laughs> but um I think he cut me a deal because I was buying so many things. <laughs> really. But here is this and it is so cute. I love it. It's just, I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I kind of want to find a column to put it on. That would be amazing. See, this is why I love doing this stuff with you because I think the things. And then I might as well show this. This is not going in the living room, but it is so cute and cottage quarry. You can tell, I think I got lucky at this Goodwill because it looked like an antique booth or a store or something kind of just dumped off their unpurchased goods or something because I found like these little cute tags and parts of them on a lot of the items that I found and picked out. So this was one of them and I love it. I'm just gonna hang it up somewhere in the cottage core kitchen and it's going to be so cute. It's just very rustic and adorable. Cute little basket I'm gonna put in the cottage core kitchen. I'm getting off point here. That was $3. I did go to a local thrift store also where my grandparents live and that seems to be where I'm getting like a lot of the cute cottage core specific thing. Like this, look how cute this is. This is so cute. I got this at another Goodwill, or no, this was at a Salvation Army and it was 50% off of the green price. But I think this is so cute. This is made in England. I love things like this. This is gonna go in the living room. I'm gonna be putting China in the living room, but the more, elegant rococo regency style that kind of look i'm going to be emphasizing in the living room. i was on the search for candlestick wall sconces 
oh my gosh, and I found these, $2 each. So cute. And they're plastic. Um, made in the USA. Don't see a year on them, but they are exactly what I was looking for. And I like that they're light because they'll hang up on the walls very well. This is gonna, these would go great in a gallery wall on just anything. I have so many ideas, but they're going in the living room because I have a similar one in my bedroom already. So that is that. And then on the living room, ooh, and I found another painting at the same place that I found the larger cottage painting. And I will put a picture of that right here. <laughs> and that was, look how cute, $25. And I think it pairs very nicely with that other one. It's very, look at, it's literally a cottage, a cute little country cottage. And I love that it's a darker frame because I am emphasizing kind of those darker colors in this room. And it is just so pretty. My grandpa really likes this one. So I'm gonna enjoy hanging this up and it's gonna complement that other cottage picture very well. And I like them kind of sticking with like cottage theme on this half because this is very eclectic. I have very traditional style, like where you go into in a library, an English library or something, and you just see all these paintings on the wall up to the ceiling. I love that look. So I did that here and that is my everyday decor, but you'll see that there's not really like a theme of paintings behind me. It's kind of everything. On these, I am going to be doing a part two for my bedroom. Oh, my elegant, beautiful, Regency style Parisian bedroom and these have to go in it. These are straight up from the 50s. They're so cute. They're good. They have a, they're light, but they have a good weight. You can tell their quality and they're very vintage and there's two of them. And this was, I think this was at that same Goodwill for 479. The price came off of it. 479 at that same Goodwill and see what I mean? There's like another little, look at and so I think, yeah, totally. Someone was at, someone had this price somewhere at a little antique booth. But I'm glad it didn't sell because I got it. And I was just thinking how I needed a cute little tissue box that was vintage -y. And again, just kind of going with more of the wood and because I'm trying to bring in just like more of like a, a library kind of feel, European English library, just more Bridgerton feel, you know. Um, this was a dollar, so cute. I love how, and it's it's just a cute wood candlestick holder. So I'm just gonna kind of put these everywhere and I love this. It, so I was definitely looking for a lot of natural wood pieces. I found this, this was $5 at that local thrift store. And it's so cute. And I don't know, this was kind of just like kind of strung around it, but I'm digging it. I'm here for it. I love it. So I just think it's cute and it's it's a good weight. It's a good piece. And I love the black and and on it as well. Hang these up. $4.79 also at that Goodwill. There's two of them. Vintage little candlestick holders to put on the walls. I love these. These are just these at and I clearly got really excited. <laughs> These just add such a good touch on any space, especially if you're looking for this cottage at that cottage. This, these, I can even put these in the kitchen and I might, especially if I feel like I've got too much going on out here on the walls. So I need to spread the love out. <laughs> My bedroom as well, um, $4.79, same from Goodwill, there's two of them. And I just thought it was just really cute. Very, very, on point with the Baroque Regency. They were really cute. <laughs> this was one that he, oh, I got this one for two bucks. I'm gonna take the thing, the price off because it's like right in the middle of the thing. But look how cute, very cottage core. I'm going to put these in the kitchen for the cottage core. I love anything with little ducks. I found, I don't know how much this was. One dollar, so cute. I love when things are actually printed on the basket itself and it's got it on the handles. Really cute in the, for the kitchen. Also cottage core kitchen. You can tell when I went to the same Goodwill because they're all, everything's $4.79. Look how cute this is. Just a cute little shelf to put some cute little tchotchke knickknacks. Love it. And then this was $2. And I think I'm gonna put it like 
in, I'm gonna do like a gallery wall, I'm pretty sure, like a, a, a very cottagey focused one. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. But I wanna put this, this just, I don't know. It, it was just cool, I liked it. Very cottage quarry. This is, this was like $3, I think. Look how cute. And it totally goes with the French cottage theme, because like, look. I love it. Just my cozy little French cottage. All these things are $4.79 again. I love this. This is so cute. I love the little scallop detailing, the little delicate floral pattern. This is screaming cottage, French country, English countryside vibes. I'm digging it. I'm so for that. I found 10 yards of this beautiful fabric for 10 bucks, which is very good because it is thick and it is beautiful. I actually started to untape it and I'm gonna do a craft with it. I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna show you the whole thing. It's so pretty, but I'm doing a DIY with this and you are not gonna wanna miss out. So make sure to hit the notification bell when, when I release new videos. So you are the first and also make sure to go to the website and subscribe to our newsletter that's gonna also let you know as soon as I have videos drop, as soon as the store is gonna be up and running on the website, give me some time for that one. Realistically, I'm probably gonna need like the first half of summer to get that all aligned. So just setting expectations. Um, but a lot of this stuff, most of this stuff is going to be on there. So this is giving me a time to style it and show you all ahead of time. But if you just subscribe and, and you will be notified and I will keep doing these. So you'll know when, when it's coming, when they're coming, but we got to get some DIYs and decorating and styling done amidst me working on the website. So it's, this is a, this is a one woman show here, by the way, I do my own editing. I do. And I know a lot of people do, so I'm not, I, I just, I guess I didn't, um, realize how much work all of this is but it's so fun you know it's thrilling it's it's exhilarating and when you find some of these things and especially as i'm sh sharing them with you i get re-excited all over again so i i love it this is just a very fun journey that i have been on with you all so make sure to tune in for that one i found this really cute frame for two dollars thick nice pretty Definitely um, giving me living room vibes. I found these Gone with the Wind plates at Sabres and they are just so pretty. Look at how detailed and beautiful. I love, love it. I mean, they're just such pretty. I got all of them that were there because they're just so pretty. And I honestly don't even really have a place for these. I might put them in the bathroom. I love this one. This one's my favorite one. Look at her just like, Yes, love me. <laughs> love that place. I might put these in the bathroom. They're just so cute. I love this one too. She's so pretty. Aw. Classic. And I love this one too. She's so pretty. I love, love, love these. So I might put these in the bathroom. I'm all, I'm gonna be all about the plates, hanging those up. So that's gonna be an adventure and I'm really excited for it. I got this uh, Salvation Army and it was $4.99. I already wiped it clean. Um, you have to do that with some things because there's like a bunch of stuff on this and I don't know what it was or why it was there, but I had a feeling I could make it pretty again. And look how cute. This is screaming Paris and I love it. And although it's not completely cottage quarry, you, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it work. So you'll see. Um, This is really cute. Gonna do this, put this in the bedroom probably or the closet, we'll see. I don't even know, is this, might be a business card holder, but it's like really cute. $3.99, but it was 50% off, so two bucks. This was from that really pretty store um, the, the thrift store that I went to, the local one, Hope Chest, I think is what it's called. And they had like a, a deal where you draw a popsicle stick and I got 25% off. And so this was 25% off of $10 and things like this, I will splurge a little bit more on. I just love the size. It's just a cute little size and I'm, I could put it anywhere in the house. So wherever it needs some color and floral, I'm going to add that to it. This, this is Cottage Quarry, I thought, and it came with these flowers. 
four dollars yeah it's cute i don't even really know it's just like a cool thing to put up and it's gonna bring some color in i don't know if i'll keep those but they're cute they're like california poppies so i might as well they're pretty cute actually i like the the mix i just need to fluff them oh i found these beautiful valises and i'm not sure where i'm gonna put them i figured kitchen i can do anything with them but they're just really cute and delicate so we're gonna figure that one out eight dollars because it's 10 and then 20 percent off and look how cute it's just this chest it's got this pretty print all over it it's a little worn on top so you can tell someone used it as a table but i'm gonna put something on top of it anyways but for eight dollars it, it's just good and it's extra storage which is always useful in a small space this i'm gonna put in my bathroom i thought it was fun and vintagey looking and this was five dollars but it had 20 percent off too so this was 4.79 it's just a cute little like mirror tray thing this is super cute as well very cottage quarry it's copper isn't that pretty? $4.79. I don't think it's real copper. It could be. It very well could be. Oh, but it is cute. I need to clean her up a little bit, but cottage core. I have to just share this with you. I did not get it at a thrift store or shopping or anything, but my grandma's best friend, Jan, uh, rest her soul, she, she gave my grandma a whole bunch of stuff when she passed and one of the things that she wanted me to have was this bird cage because she just knew how much I love to decorate and everything. So I have no idea where she got this from, but I, it's been kind of just at my grandparents' house because she passed a while ago, but I just didn't really know what to do, especially with all my holidays and stuff. Um, I, I didn't know what to do with this and it, it is screaming this year's decorating. Look how cute, pretty. So... This is, it's just everything. Look at how the, there's a little thing in there for the bird. I mean, so I'm, I don't know where I'm gonna put this. <laughs> we'll see. Probably the kitchen. I love it. So make sure you subscribe, but I hope you enjoyed this thrifting journey with me and the haul. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it and I wanted to make sure to share all this with you before I started putting it up. So make sure to tune in for that thank you for being on this ride with me and i hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and we'll see you next time stay lovely my friends